Actually, I don't have any more urgent tasks for you. But my father and I had an idea as a thank you for everything you've done. Not just what you've done here in this reserve, but also back in Leighton. So here it is. There's this spot we'd like to show you. It's a very special site for our family, and you of all people deserve to see it. It's quite the trek, but if you're up for it, we'll both keep you company on the radio. Listen, son, there's a... Uh... Well, don't get me wrong, I don't mean to evaluate your skills as a warden or anything. You don't need it. I just want to say you're doing really good work here, Trev. Excellent, even. I mean, it's obvious you love this place and you take care of it. Plus, you do all that extra work on the internet. Anyway, I just keep doing what you're doing out here. and I know you'll do just fine. Wow, I was not ready for this. Did you write up that little speech in the car? Jokes aside, I love sharing what people like us care about, passing along what I learned. Thanks, Dad. That means a lot. More than you realize. Uh, that's good. I'm, I'm glad, son. <clears throat> hey, you got any coffee left for me? I could use a refill. The camp, the view isn't anything special, but my father and I built it together ages ago. Remember? Of course I remember. It was your first year here. That whole area to the north is like far off and demanding and we're both getting tired. So we decided to set up camp for the night. When I saw you building it, I remember thinking, that's it, Colton. He's not a kid anymore. When you're a parent, you always think you have all the time in the world with your kids. But you don't. You try to juggle work, your kids' homework, and everything else. And the next day, bam, you wake up and they're moving out and starting their own life. Juggling work and the rest every day. It's like, I'll do that tomorrow, or give your old man a call. I'm starting to understand how tough that must have been for you. Me too. I always say I'm too busy, and I don't even have kids yet. When you were a kid, sometimes you'd get mad at me for not taking the time to play with you. And I hated seeing you like that. I have some news to share, actually, Dad. I've been dying to tell you, but it was face-to-face -face kind of news. You're going to be a grandpa. Sam and I are having a baby. A baby daughter. Really? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> Congratulations. Really, I am so happy for you two. That is, oh, wow. Oh, when's the due date? End of February. Thank you so much. Now do you get why I kept nagging you about coming over? You're almost at the camp. <laughs> I can't believe that camp still exists. I remember Trev and I had a good talk the night we built it. We talked a little bit about your mom. Remember, Trev? You know, about back home? I've been going back and fixing it up every now and then. That way, hunters can use it if they need to. That camp is for people like you, my friend. Thank you for being there for our family. Let me know if you need any help during your stay, and I'll be in touch.
tell you what, Dad. How about you and I go and hike to the camp in a few days and spend a couple nights there? I'll show you how it's done over here. Deal. Maybe in a few years, if I'm not too rusty, we'll all go. We'll show your daughter the ropes. <laughs> you got it. You hungry? Come on. The stew's ready. 